Hello and welcome to another episode of The Zoo. Today we're going to talk about what's new in MyIT 3.0, BMC Software's modern, cool self-service app. And helping me understand this is Larry Tube, all the way from Vancouver. He's the product manager. Well, welcome, Larry. Hey, Alf. How's it going? How's the weather in Vancouver, by the way? It must be wonderful right now. S sunny and cold. Is it really? Okay, at least it's sunny. That's good. It's good. So my IT has been out on the market for a while now, and people are really starting to get the hang of it. The market is maturing uh, because this was when it first came out a very modern tool. It was like the Facebook of, of, of the enterprise. And so we've seen it evolve. What's the latest, just a quick overview, what's the latest features in my IT 3.0? Uh, so the latest things, obviously, with the original releases, we focused on innovation in specific areas around social and collaboration and context-aware. And over the next release, including this latest one, um, we've really focused on the service catalog aspect of things. So I'm sure you've heard um, about Service Broker, my IT Service Broker being released, which is really the aggregation of all of your service catalogs in the back end. And my IT is really taking advantage of that um, through the front end, through this new unified catalog experience. So a very rich consumer-facing um, browsing discovery experience for all of your services in one central location. How is that different from what we have right now? Um, really, the difference is the amount of data sources that we have that can now configure into there. So leveraging the power of Service Broker, we now have the ability to include HR services, hardware, software, and with the, the new myriad of applications and services that are coming through, we provided new tools to make that uh, experience a lot richer. So we've been, done things around controlling the visibility and the visuals of how we display those items through not just the, the small squares and information, but really providing customers the ability to enhance that with much greater visuals, um, better descriptions, um, different ways of creating a hierarchy in the information that we show. Um, we've done things around allowing you to mix data sources. So in essence, creating themes around how you present information to your end users. Imagine uh, you're a new user in an organization. Rather than going through a catalog and just browsing for the things that might be of interest for you, we have the ability now to build sections within that catalog that are targeted specifically to those new users. Things that will encompass the, the, the service requests you have to fill in for day one, the information to knowledge around your corporate benefits and plans and a corporate handbook um, at your fingertips, all the applications you need to install on day one to get up and running, along with other things like getting your security badge or whatever that might be, you now have the ability to theme those um, in dynamic content buckets and present those to so from just taking the onboarding example, there, it sounds like that. so I can have multiple sources coming, not only the service catalog, the SRM, for example, or whatever service catalog we have in-house. I can also push in stuff from salesforce.com, from Oracle, from other sources, bundle that in one thing. So for the end user, they're consuming one bundle, if you will. Irregard, they don't care what the source is coming from. They just get what Exactly. We don't care where it comes from. It's just making it easier for the end users to be able to consume those services in a modern, intuitive way. So this is Cyber Monday, so very handy. You also mentioned that a richer experience. So what does that mean? You can actually include videos and white papers or... So for sure. Yeah. So we already have that today. So as we start to embrace uh, service, service broker again, um, we have the ability to really publish rich profiles. Whereas before SRM were pretty um, standard, you would click a button, open up, and it would go straight into the questions and answers that you need to fulfill. We now have the ability exactly to provide um, rich graphics, um, detailed descriptions, uh, white papers, technical details, uh, videos to really help that browsing um, and evaluation experience, um, ratings and reviews. You can either rate software and review software or read how your peers in the organization are leveraging the software or the solutions within the, the tool itself. You touched on bundles. We have the ability to bundle all of those services so that with one click, we can accept multiple things coming from different avenues. So one could be coming from an HR request system, one could be coming from your software catalog, and others were just to fulfill specific um, service requests in the organization. And it gets tracked in MyIT with one click of a button. Nice. Uh, so if I'm a uh, BMC service request manager customer right now, 
and I want to use my IT to enhance the, the, the front end, the user interface, if you will. Do, do I have to do a lot of work on the back end? Do I have to migrate everything over? How, how does that work? How do I hook it on? So the back end side of things is really easy. So we do, as again, I keep on, I know we keep on talking about my IT, but Service Broker works very much in tandem with this product. So Service Broker has these new uh, tools to allow that configuration and integration of all of those different systems into one common um, interface. And that interface has been driven um, through our user experience team to be extremely simple. Um, although the way it's set up, you have to be an IT, industry, an IT professional today to configure the overall catalog, we have tools within the application to allow business users, line of business, to really configure how those um, get displayed in MyIT very easily. Um, and it really is a drag and drop interface. So all your data sources are accessible. You can drag and drop different things if you want to be able to create in those different buckets, which then get presented in MyIT. To do all that, do I need service broker as well, or can I use my MyIT? Obviously, Service Broker um, enhances that experience by providing those um, additional catalogs and services, but all of those same functionalities are available directly within MyIT as well. So through the admin interface, you have the ability to build out those custom buckets, target that information, although obviously there won't be different data sources, it will be really um, confined to SRM and the service catalog aspect that you have right there. It's your case management and is a new solution from BMC. Um, and it's going to use my IT as its front end. How does that work? What, what's the upside here? So exactly the same thing. So rather than having your users go to different catalogs to be able to request their HR services, which get routed in the back end to specific HR staff and agents, um, we now have the ability to mix and match those, that data, those offerings, directly into my IT. So me as a business unit user, I don't have to hunt through different portals to find the information I want. I just go to my IT, we present them with the unified catalog, and right there, everything that I need, regardless of if it's HR or day-to-day -day business services, are presented to me right there within my IT. I can fill in the request, and obviously that's tracked exactly the same way. So I want to know a little bit what's coming on the horizon, but my, my personal thing is, are we building augmented reality, or is that just a pipe dream for me? Um, it's a little bit of a pipe dream. I think there are aspects within the application that are leaning towards that. If you look at some of our location-aware services, um, we have things that as technology is evolving around beacons and sensors, there are things that we can start to leverage. Um, it's on the horizon, but it's a little bit out still. So Internet of Things will be another thing because you talked about location-aware. Well, we're talking about so Internet of Things and sensors, whether it's augmented reality, that's one aspect. Yep. We're looking at a new concept in general around proactive IT. So rather than me having to go to my IT whenever I need something specifically, um, with these integrations through Service Broker of the different catalogs that I use, the roles and responsibilities that I might have in an organization, we get a profile of a user and slowly but surely we can start to leverage some of the sensors and other technology that's being made available, Internet of Things, to be able to present relative information to users without them having to hunt it down. We have a new area within my IT called My Stuff, and that really is not just the catalog, but once you provision something within the application, what happens on day two and day three and day four when I want to be able to interact with those things? My cell phone might have a updated plan or I might be traveling. So it might say, well, you just booked a ticket through your uh, corporate travel plan and it says you're going to the UK. Well, would you like that data roaming plan to come with it? Oh, and by the way, these are the applications you might need while you're traveling. So leveraging the power of those roles and those interactions, we can be a lot more proactive with how we present information to end users. Excellent. And if you want to know more about this, you can go to our website and you find out all the features and functionalities that MIT offers. Yeah, well, sure. <laughs> well, otherwise, you can call me. Great, Larry. That was wonderful. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me in the zoo here about MIT 3.0. Um, if there's anything you wanted to share with the audience about what you think the room is going to entail, um, is there anything we missed? No, I think we covered a lot of it. Obviously, we're going to see more enhancements into this catalog experience to just really hone in that uh, uh, consumer experience that people have come to expect in their everyday lives into a enterprise application and starting to leverage these different integrations through all of your disparate systems in the back end through Service Broker to aggregate those. And the more information we have around 
uh, a user, we can start to be a little bit more proactive, and that's really our foundation for the next the next uh, foreseeable future. Yeah, I love the idea of proactive IT. It really resonates with the market. Great. Thank you, Larry. I really appreciate your time. Thanks. We rest out there. Take care. Be safe. Bye bye.